the viable system model plus more equals the universal management system. On the left is the original VSM. On the right, the UMS. It's the depiction of universal management. Let's compare the VSM to the UMS. The corporate life cycle follows this wave-like pattern. The VSM is about the viable center. I think the UMS language should cover everything that happens from cradle to grave or takeover. Difference number one, the use of color, a different color for every element, so as to prevent any confusions. Difference number two, the relevant environment of the universal management system is on both sides of the graph, allowing for the more familiar input-output black box arrangement. Suppliers enter from the left and clients are served on the right. This creates a flowing motion. Difference number three. The UMS graph is uncluttered by all the communication channels. These are shown in better detail on a special slide. The UMS suggests talking about control loops instead of the homeostats borrowed from biology. Control loops are two-way communication channels. Organizational deficiencies can be traced to failures in the control loops. Patrick Hoverstadt has identified 22 archetypes, all explained in terms of the VSM model. Difference number four. The recursive nature of the UMS is more obvious. The icons representing the processes inside the operation are noticeably identical to the entity they belong to. Difference number five. The UMS adds a security function and a clear border to the main unit. This mimics a real-life situation where, for instance, suppliers must clear security to enter. Difference number six. The UMS changes System 3 star, a sporadic audit channel, and turns it into a massive anomaly detection system which will process thousands of messages, for instance, from smartphone feeds. Difference number seven. The UMS has the operation clearly encapsulated. In the VSM, it is not shown, creating some confusion, although the recursion is implied. Difference number eight. In general, the UMS takes a more pragmatic approach that includes the physical transactions, even financial transactions, more easily displayed and not only exchanges of information. The UMS helps identify four types of operations. The first, Starting on the left, houses disconnected businesses. The second contains interdependent entities or businesses belonging to the same economic subsector. The third exemplifies a complex business process. And the fourth, a very simple process. The respective higher management does not show visible exchanges except the last one, which is embodied by perhaps one person only.
The UMS is all about making relevant distinctions easier to grasp. That allows people to see the model everywhere and to learn to think in terms of the model. As you know, models are not true or false, but rather more or less helpful. But the clearer, the better. Thank you for watching.